Okay. Hi, this is Chase with Houston Frogs. Today I'm going to show you how to harvest larvae for feeding your froglets, especially to fatten up uh, frogs that need to put a little bit of weight on. We have one of our 16 ounce cultures here. Uh, we started making these particularly for harvesting larvae. This is our High Dad Golden Strain 2. As you see uh, with our high production media, there's a ton in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quite simply here, I'm going to take the lid off. You can see all the larvae in there. Tons, tons, tons of larvae. And there's normally this amount in a 32 ounce container as well. Uh, and then I'm going to take some distilled or RO water. And I'm going to take this really fine screen, which you get at the dollar store for about a dollar or two. And then I'm just simply going to wash all of this larva into here. And then you can do the same thing with the culture as well. I'm just using a regular turkey baster. You don't have to use anything fancy for this. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse all the larvae in there. I'm not going to harvest uh, actually all the larvae today because we are going to uh, continue to use this culture to harvest from, but we're going to harvest quite a bit to make a few dishes uh, for some uh, breeders that we have that we want to help them with uh, putting on more fat stores. They're already a healthy weight, but we want to make them even nicer, fatter, healthier because they have much larger clutches and higher fertility as well. So you see we have all this nice larva right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit more of this distilled water here and I'm going to just rinse some a bit more, get a last media off of them. Media is not harmful, but it does make them move around a little bit more once they're fully washed off. I'm then going to take a little bit more and I'm gonna wash them down to the side of the pan like so. Sort of a messy job, but it's for the frogs. Then I'm going to take a little pipette. I've actually cut the end off to make it a little bit wider. And I'm going to go ahead and suck some of these guys up. Actually, I can cut the end off enough. That's fine. You can also spoon them in too. So I'm going to take this right here. I'm just going to go ahead and plop them in there. There we go. Like so. That's one dish prepared. Here's a second one prepared. Now these larvae will actually crawl out of the dish and the froglets and uh, breeding adults, anything that you're gonna be feeding with these, will actually eat the larva not only in the container, but they'll also eat all the ones that try to escape from it because they can't move very fast. Uh, but anyways guys, hope that's a help to y'all that are looking to feed uh, fruit fly maggots to your frogs. Um, do you have any questions? I'm Chase with Houston Frogs. Always happy to help you guys out. Thank you.